welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and it is time for August Shop My Stash. I don't even know if I did a July Shop My Stash, did I? I don't even remember. Uh, I was kind of out of it, okay, it's fine. But anyway, uh, we're doing an August Shop My Stash today, and I have my skincare on. I did already throw on some primer. I didn't pick one out, I just put on some of the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, and I want to use, oh, this. So I picked out the, what is it called? I see in Sparkle Multi Dimension Eye Pigment from Give, and it's in the shade Dazzle. I got this at Marshalls, I think. Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I got two of these colors, and I really want to use this today. I used one of them one time. Actually, it was this one, and I loved it. It looks really chunky, but it goes on very, very smooth um, on the eye. So I want to use this today, so I'm going to do my eyes first. I didn't put on any eye primer because I ran out of the Morphe eye primer that I love. And the only other one that I bought, I have this one from Pretty Smart Eyeshadow Primer Elixir. And it's okay, I guess. Most of the times it comes out um, uh, separated. And it really just feels like moisturizer. It doesn't really feel like a... I don't know. I guess I'm just used to the Morphe one. So this texture is a little different. But it feels a little just like you're putting on... A little bit of moisturizer and I wasn't gonna put it on but why not and I'm just gonna put some of the bronzer that I picked out in my eye I was gonna pick out an eyeshadow to use and I decided I'll just use the bronzer I picked up the flower beauty heat wave luminous bronzer I'm trying to think of a bronzer that I haven't used just a million times over but I don't know I just have the ones I have and I just keep using them and using them and using them uh, anyway, this is the Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer in the shade Sunswept. I've had this for a long, long time. I mean, it's from Walmart. Flower's not even sold at Walmart anymore. It's a really pretty, marbly, nice little baked formula. But I've never fallen in love with it for some reason. The cat's seeing something over there. Uh, anyway, I've never really fallen in love with this bronzer. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just the tone. I really don't know. But I'm just going to put a little in the crease and above. Not going to go crazy with it. Not put it on the lid because I want to do that sparkle. And I don't know if you can tell. It's different lighting in here. I bought two lights off of the internet. They're both right there. Because I have to always wait for a certain time of day to film a video. Because I work with just the open window as lighting. And it drives me crazy sometimes because then there's like other things I want to do or I want to leave the house or whatever. And then I don't have time to film the video. And now I'm like, I got the lights. It's a little different than I'm used to, but let me know what you think. I know it looks a lot white, like white light, which is cool. I tend to love like a more warm look in a, in a video, but um, I just whatever the sun, whatever the sun's going to give me is what I'll work with. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you're a light person, how I can adjust them. Um, cause I'm trying to like get rid of the shadows at the back, but I also don't really mind the shadows in the back. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. But I'm gonna throw on some of that bronzer, like even just the way the brush feels going over the lid with that primer. I don't know why I just don't love it, but the powder blended out just fine and that is the point, okay. So now I'm gonna get a flat brush. This is the Morphe M167, just a flat brush like this. I'm gonna wet it with some, let's do this one. Setting spray, this is the NYX First Base Primer Water. Just something to wet the brush. I feel like you could also just use water, but this is just what I have handy. Gonna dab off the excess. This is how I normally use a pigment. Um, the only pigments I ever really love and use are the ones from NYX, and I don't even think they make them anymore. I freaking love those, best pigment formula ever. Um, I'm just gonna get whatever's on top of the shaker here on the brush because there's a lot that kind of came out. Just gonna coat the brush and then I'm gonna press it into the lid and kind of really work it into the brush so it's nice and smooth. Kind of making a little paste, I guess. Does that look good? I don't know if I got enough. Let me get a little more. It just doesn't look even, but it'll go on even on the lids. Okay, and then you kind of just start painting it on. You know what this reminds me of? There's a shade from KVD, like one of their single shadows that looks like this. 
Is that going on like super chunky patchy? Hold on. Whoops, that mirror's not even usable. I don't think I wet the brush enough. Let me get some more water on the brush. Maybe I, I dusted it off or like dabbed it off too much. And I'm gonna add some more. I don't feel like, cause it, I don't feel like I had enough on the brush. Working with loose pigments like this sometimes is a little bit of a trial and error type thing. Okay, let's go with that. There we go. And then you kind of just paint it on. This looks so similar to that KVD shadow I was talking about. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like, it feels like it's made of liquid metal or something. So pretty. I'm gonna kind of dab it with the finger. I've never done this before, but I feel like it went on a little chunky in some spots. But look at that. Doesn't it look like it has a mirror finish? Like it's liquid metal. That's so pretty. I'm gonna get that brush I used for the bronzer. Put a little more just in the crease area just to help it kind of mesh together. Ooh, that's so pretty. All right, same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna re-wet the brush a little bit. Dump out some of that pigment. That's the only issue with the ones from NYX is they're really small containers and they only have three tiny holes in them, so you have to like beat the crap out of it to get the pigment to come out. Okay, see how we got it in kind of a little paste on the brush? And then you just start painting it on. Look how easy. Oh my gosh, so pretty! I bought two shades of this and they look so similar in the container. Well, they didn't look that similar. Obviously, I guess I bought both of them, but I feel like on the lid, they're gonna look exactly the same. Oh my gosh, this is so metallic and pretty. Okay, gonna just blend out the edge. Are you okay? I don't know if you heard him meow. He was licking himself, like giving himself a little bath and then just stopped like this, like in a weird, weird pose. Anyway, ooh, I really like that. And uh, I only did wear this one time so far, but it didn't give any like fallout throughout the day. It actually isn't even any to wipe off. I did get a little bit here on the inner corner that I'm gonna clean up with the Q-tip, but I didn't get any fallout on my skin like I thought I was going to. And like I was saying, this doesn't fall throughout the day. Like it doesn't turn into a dry sparkle all over your lids or all over your cheeks and stuff, which is nice. Let me just clean up. Let's get a little micellar water on this Q-tip. And just clean up that little bit right there. I don't even know how that got there. Cool, cool, cool. I love it. All right, foundation. I picked out an actual foundation to wear this time because I've been really loving the e.l.f. Uh, Soft Glam foundation a lot, a lot. But before this, I had really just been using glowy primer and concealer and really enjoying that look a lot. But I thought for Shot My Stash, let's pull out a foundation. It's a million degrees outside, so this should be nice. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. It also has SPF 25, but I'm not putting enough of this on for it to count as SPF on my face, but it's nice to have, you know, it doesn't hurt to have SPF in your products. And I haven't used this lately. I thought it would be real nice because it's really thin, really lightweight on the skin, but it has really good coverage. And it's a little more of a satin finish, almost matte-ish, but not flat. Okay. Foundation blended out, covered up everything. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer just here on the, um, this like hyperpigmentation I have right here. I was working so good on the hyperpigmentation on my forehead. I used to have it completely covering my forehead. And then I started using niacinamide every single day. I also started using vitamin C every day and sunscreen every single day without fail and it 
completely disappeared like I can't believe it but I have a little bit still here like this part is new but for the most part I'm very happy with all the progress because it was a lot I'm gonna put a little here I don't know just for fun I guess I don't know a little concealer on the under eyes I'm using the Colfi main match concealer in the shade Ice Ice Berry. This isn't really a shop my stash moment because I love this. I've gone through a couple of tubes of this, but I've been stuck on the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and the House Labs Triclo Concealer. These are so good on the under eyes and that's basically all I've been reaching for. Just They're just so thin. And this one, although a little more creamier, a little more substantial, Still very good on the under eyes, doesn't crease, doesn't move around. Um, it's just a little more like creamy and hydrating. And those other ones are just like thin pigment, which is nice too. But I feel like a little switch up for Shop My Stash. Nice. Okay. I did Shop My Stash for a powder, although I almost don't want to put one on because this foundation does dry down real nice. But... I thought I'd pull out a little baby here from Hard Candy, the Chilling Wonder Loose Finishing Powder. This is the Sheer Envy Loose Powder. I always feel like I called it something else, so when I read the back, I was like, what? The Chilling Wonder Sheer Envy Loose Powder. I love this. There isn't much left in here. Like, if I hold it this way, it's like barely here at the bottom. I haven't used this lately, because um, I've really been stuck on the Kosas Cloud Set Powder and the Dior Backstage Powder, the pressed one powder no powder and I haven't used this lately and I thought let's bust out an old favorite for shot my stash really lightweight again on the skin really blurring and um, it doesn't have any coverage but I feel like it adds a filter effect it's really nice love 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 Just a nice light layer just to help with the sweat okay now back to the bronzer the flower beauty heat wave luminous bronzer in the shade sunswept I just don't know why I never fell in love with this but for some reason I can't declutter it because there are times when I love it and I feel like when I got it I really loved it and I loved this tone but for some reason it never becomes like part of my routine I never want to reach for it all the time or like hit pan in it or even really wear down this dome. And I've had this for a long time. <clears throat> Definitely years. Um, I don't know why. I can't get rid of it, but I also never have fallen in love with it either. It's just kind of always there. Just hoping for its time to shine, I think. I think I got too much on this side. Let's try to blend that out. I have to wash this brush so bad because I'm like, how much is what's what's this bronzer and how much is just what's been left on this brush? You know what I mean? Let's try to blend that part out. It looks a little, a little crazy. I don't know, I just, you know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna declutter it and you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go to use it one day in a video or just in my daily life and not know what happened to it. Or like, where did that bronzer go? And I'm gonna forget I decluttered it because I've had it for so long and I've always wanted to declutter it and I couldn't do it. Or does it look fine? I don't know. But I look very matte right now. Way more matte than I was expecting to look. It's fine. We're going to turn it around. I pulled out a blush from Ulta Beauty. This is one of their flushed blushes in the shade Pink Prosecco. And Ulta uh, just relaunched the Ulta Beauty line. They redid the packaging and everything. And I had thought they were getting rid of it for a second because the line at the store, like the, the display, had been empty for so long. A lot of products were never restocked. And when I was there just recently, they had a sign on it that said, 
um, were working on new products or something like that. Um, and now they've been launching them on their website. They still have certain products like the, um, the Complexion Crush Foundation. They still have this, but it's in new packaging, like a white bottle, I think. And they're just kind of relaunching them. I don't know if they're reformulating anything, um, but I want to try some stuff out just to see how it compares to the old stuff. But this is a, a great blush from them. Uh, their flushed blushes are very shimmery and very pretty. And I haven't used this in a while. Get out of here, hair. And I hope this brings some... Ooh, is that too much? I don't know if it's just this light that is making me see this in the light now, but I'm like, that is so glowy. Holy moly. It's uh, like a really pretty pink with a lot of gold shimmer in it. I don't even know if you could really see the gold, but you can see it. I mean, look at my face. I'm so shimmery. I love putting blush on my nose, but you know what? I can't. Am I gonna regret it? I don't know. It's a little much, but you know what? Who cares? It's fine. It's just makeup, and you know what? It makes me happy. And I definitely don't need highlighter. I brought out two. I brought out the Give uh, Platinum Cowgirl highlighter. Love this. I thought it would be like a nice little natural glow to add to that blush and then I also brought out the Anastasia glow seeker highlighter and I definitely don't need it holy crap uh what am I missing brows I'm missing brows gonna throw these on real quick this is the morphe brow pencil in the shade chocolate chocolate mousse I think I look so matte. I was just saying this powder is not gonna make you look matte, but I feel like I look really matte. And I think cause the foundation also has dried down, but it's okay. A little setting spray always brings some life back to the face. That way the whole face will look nice and glowy and not just the cheek area. Although I think it looks kind of cool too. Hmm, kind of like it. Now that I have eyebrows on it balanced out the cheek situation in my mind. Can I make a video less than 30 minutes long? I don't even know. I don't know, I like long videos, I like watching long videos, and when I click on somebody that I really love to watch, the first thing I look at is how long the video is, and if it's like seven minutes long, I get so annoyed, because I'm like, that's it? That's all I get is seven minutes? Um, where are we at? What was I talking about? I feel like I need some eyeliner definitely with this look and I think I'm gonna put some of this bronzer also on the lower lash line. Just to kind of balance a little bit because I'm gonna put some black liner on the waterline. Oh my gosh, did you see? Garnier has a cleansing balm. I have to get it. I was browsing on, um, Ulta's website yesterday and I saw it and I was like, oh, and they have it in store? I have to get it or I might die. I think I might die. Okay, liner, just gonna use the same one that's sitting here. This is the Tarte Surfer Curl Gel Liner. Wait, it's Shop My Stash. I forgot. Let me shop my stash for a black liner. I'll put that back in the drawer for future use. Um, what is this? Smashbox, always on gel liner in the shade Fishnet. I also have, well that's a lot liquid liner. Mm. Oh, Ulta Beauty Automatic Eyeliner. Let's do this one. I haven't used this in a while. This used to, or do I still have one? Uh, this used to live in my locker, in my locker little caboodle that I have. But it's just a twist up gel liner from the Ulta Beauty line. Really good. I've worn it into a point. All right, gonna pull out the fancy setting spray. This is for Gucci. This is the Glow Hydrating Mist. I really only use this as a refreshing spray, which is why like I haven't used all of it up yet. It's so good as a refreshing spray. It will make your makeup look like you just put it on. It's crazy. But I rarely use it as a setting spray. Um, but I feel like this kind of look, it's a little more matte than I really love. And I think these cheeks need to be balanced out a little bit. So I'm gonna use this and see if it could bring some glow and life back to my face. And 
then whenever I use this, I don't um, fan it down. I know I did just now just to get like any, just like a quick little thing so I can open my eyes. Um, I like to just let it sit on the skin and kind of let it absorb on its own. I don't know if that makes a difference. It's just what I like to do with it. And it does immediately kind of bring a little bit of like a hydration look to the skin, which is definitely what I think was missing. And for mascara, no, I'm not going to use e.l.f., although I want to. I'm going to use this. This is the L'Oreal Panorama Mascara, but I bought a shade, a new one in the shade Black Brown. I mean, I didn't buy it just recently. I guess it is recent, a recent-ish purchase. I had went to work without mascara because sometimes I'm just running late and I will skip mascara and do it at work and I forgot to take it with me so I bought one when I was there and this is the one I bought and I bought the shade black brown and I love this color. It's subtle. It's a subtle difference but it's just enough so you know it's not black. It's just like a rich brown. It's so beautiful but I am going to put the elf one on the lower lashes just because it's 100 degrees outside and I don't know if I trust that on the lower lashes today. Oh yeah, the skin definitely has more of a, a juicy look to it after that setting spray. It's not really like a makeup extending spray, it's more of like a, a finishing spray if you will. A refreshing spray is definitely what I think it's better suited for. But it's nice to bring a little life back to the, the makeup, but I don't think it's going to help extend the wear at all. At least that's been my experience with that. I think I put too much bronzer on my neck. All I can do is look at it. I love this brush shape that this mascara wand has. This like nice tapered wand with the tiny, tiny bristles at the tip. It's nice to get all that inner corner. Oh, whoops, touched my eyelid. But yeah, this mascara is really good. Cool, I'm just gonna let this little dab dry right here before I wipe it off. Trying to tone down the bronzer on the next situation. I think it looks fine, but I think I put a little too much or something, but it'll it's gonna be fine, but that's it. That is my finished shot my stash look. I feel like the setting spray really toned, it didn't tone down the cheek area, but it made it look a little more balanced because now the whole face looks a little more radiant. But what did we use? Okay, the bronzer, I don't know. I don't, I think I'm going to declutter it or I'm gonna keep it forever in my memory vault box and then just pull it out every now and then and go, Remember this bronzer? Oh, remember this. You used to love this, I think. Uh, that's my, that might be what I do with it, but I don't, I just don't see myself ever really using it all that much. The Chilling Wonder Powder is one of my favorites. I feel like with the foundation, it probably wasn't needed because these two together, I think made me look a little too matte, like more matte than my preference. But I do love this foundation. I wish I had just maybe let it uh, like dry down on its own for a few minutes before going in with products because I definitely don't think this needs powder at all but I love the way this looks I've been off a of foundation for a while and I think this this and the elf one are gonna bring bring me back to the foundation world um, they flushed blush I love a heavy blush look but I think even for me this might be a little much it might be a little much let me know what you think but yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know some products you've shopped your stash for for August. I would love to know. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a... Hold on, what do I say? Thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye.